Okay, so here's an example for finding the T, N, and B vectors um, given a, an R vector. So our R vector is 2 cosine 3T, 2 sine 3T, and 5T, right? Those are X, Y, and Z components. And we're going to find it at that T equals 0. Now, when we're given this specific T value, that's going to make our life an, a little bit a whole lot easier. So remember T, right? T is a function of T, right? This is our unit tangent vector, unit meaning length 1. And the way we find it, right, it's R prime of T divided by the length of r prime of t. So we have to find that. So r prime of t. Now, um, these are only, I'll put quotes on it, nice, right? Nice for certain r functions, right? So we kind of have a helix going here. Not kind of. We do have a helix going here. Um, helixes are nice to find the unit tangent vector. Um, other things, right, this dividing by the length can be super ugly especially when we go to find n, because for n, we have to do the derivative of this t. So first, sorry, one thing at a time. Let's find t. So we need the derivative of r to start with. Um, so a little um, chain rule on the inside, so the 3 will come out. So I'll get a 6 and then negative sine 3t. And then I'll get a 6 cosine 3t and a 5. So there's r prime. And now we need the length of r prime. And you're going to see why only certain things are nice. right? So the length, right? Square them, add them, root them. So squaring that first one, I'm going to get 36 sine squared 3t plus 36 cosine squared 3t plus 25. Right, so the cosine squared and the sine squared, that's nice as long as the arguments are the same and the coefficients are the same. That, right, imagine factoring out the 36, add those together. Anywho, we're going to get just square root of 36 plus 25. Yay, that length is constant. That's what makes our life easier. And I'm not trusting myself today to do arithmetic, so square root 61. Okay, so my t vector is 1 over square root 61 times r prime vector. So negative 6 sine 3t, 6 cosine 3t, and 5. Okay, so there is the unit tangent vector. Now, we have been asked to find it at a particular place, t equals 0. So you could go ahead and find that here if you wanted. In fact, let's go ahead and do that, t of 0. Um, so sine of 0 is 0, right? And then that 1 over six, uh, square root 61 comes in, but it doesn't matter. It's still 0. This next one, cosine of 0, is 1 times 6 divided by that. So that'll just be 6 over root 61. And then 5 is a constant. doesn't matter what t is. So that'll just be 5 over square root 61. Okay, so there is t at 0. Now to find n... So n is that unit normal vector. So it's going to be perpendicular to our tangent vector. And the way we find it is we take the derivative of our tangent vector, and then right to make it unit, we divide by its length. This is why it's nice if that length is a constant, because if it's not, right, if I didn't have that sine squared and cosine squared adding together to be a 1, getting rid of my t's, you got some quotient rules going on. Not fun, doable, just not fun. Okay, so we are, sorry, I was just making sure I was recording on the right stuff here. Okay, so we're just going to do the derivative of t here. So, right, the coefficient will just still be out in front. So, 1 over square root 61. Okay, so here we go, another um, chain rule. So, that'll be uh, negative 18 cosine 3t. And then 8. 18, oh, a negative, 18 sine 3t, and then the derivative of 5 is 0. Okay. And now we need the length. Okay. So, right, this 1 over square root 61, that's just right part of the length, so I'm going to keep that out in front. I hope that's going to be okay. Um, and then square root, so then we'll get um, 
and we're squaring it, so I don't care that it's negative. So 18 squared, cosine squared, 3t, plus again, squaring it, 18 squared, sine squared, 3t, plus 0 squared, don't care. Um, so the 1 over r squared 61s will cancel. Um, so I have negative 18 cos, actually I'll come down here. So n, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually bring that negative 18 out in front. So I've got negative 18 cosine 3t sine 3t 0. And then what's that length? So it's 18 squared plus 18 squared cosine, right? 0. A square root of 18 squared, so just 18. Nice. Okay, I guess I'm going to take the negative sign back in. So my, oh, and I didn't mean that prime, normal. My normal vector is cosine 3t, sine 3t, 0. So in general, and so then we can find our n at 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0, and 0 is 0. So there is your normal vector at time equals 0. I'm going to put a box around this. This is it in general at other times. So then to find the binormal vector, so b, this is just t crossed with n. And so we don't have to take the derivative anymore, so we can go ahead and use our numeric versions. Okay, so we're going to go grab t at 0, because we're just really interested in that one particular point. You could do it generically, right, with your, right, you could find b as a function of t. But since we don't really need it, right, the question that was asked was we were supposed to find it just at 0. So we're going to do the easier version, but you could do it and find it just as a function of t, right? So we're actually going to find it at t equals 0. Okay, so i, j, k, uh, t is 0, 6 over root 61, and 5 over root 61, and then n is 1, 0, 0. Okay, so i hat, what do we get? 0. And j, I get uh, 5 over root 61 minus 0, and k, I get, I've been gardening, sorry, um, negative 6 over root 61. So my binormal vector at 0 is 0, 5 over square root 61, and negative 6 over square root 61. Okay. So when you think about it, so t... See if I can zoom out. So at time equals 0, your t vector right, is pointing in the direction of motion. Right, that's your tangent. Your normal vector is pointing right, in the direction that the curve is turning. Right, so it's turning toward the x direction. Nothing changing in the y or z at time 0. Okay. And then this binormal is just the cross product. So it's perpendicular to both n and t. Okay. It should also have length 1. You can go ahead and check that. Indeed it does. Sorry, just write square matter root them. Right. So it also has unit, vec unit length. 